I don't know it feels like we're hanging out i don't i don't get it i don't get it but i hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your month um i'm wishing you all the blessings all the prosperity this is the eighth month of the year and i'm praying that you guys have gotten all your things um checked off your list I hope that you're accomplishing all your desires and that God is just being good to you and your people. Um, it's a very good month. My big brother was born on this month. My big brother is actually one of the sweetest people I've ever met. He's very confident, social, all of those things, but he's such a darling. So this month is good. It's a good month. It's a very good month. I had promised myself I'm not posting a vlog simply because I've posted so many consecutively. And I realized because you guys like my sit down videos more, which makes sense. Those videos are curated to inspire, to inform, to impact your lives. So I decided to put a hold on posting vlogs. So this vlog is actually gonna be a bit delayed. You guys already know my content is faith based, lifestyle, and self development. And I feel like I've been slacking on the faith and the self development aspect. So I wanna catch up to speed I, I aspire to reach a place where let me just do my makeup as we talk I aspire to reach a place where like I'm gonna put sunscreen the objectives for this channel is for it to be wholesome um, this is the sunscreen I'm using it's a mineral sunscreen which is good for sensitive skin I just apply two stripes like that so I was saying, one of my objectives for this channel is for it to be wholesome and that's why I do like wholesome content. <laughs> you can see like this sunscreen literally disappears, completely melts into my skin without leaving a white cast. Also, I wanted to show you guys my new foundation. This color is definitely not my color um, <laughs> I had previously bought this shade which is also really not my shade it's too dark and this one is like one shade lighter but I feel like I'm closer to this so what I do is um, I love this because it's Revlon color stay 24 hours it's for combination to oily skin and yeah it has a matte finish so i normally just put more of this just a pump like that and then like a half pump of this a half pump like oops yeah so that's what i use literally um simply because like it 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 goes a little goes a long way a very very long way and then the cutest little setting spray that I use as primer. Oh my god. Guys, isn't this the cutest thing? It's so small, but it packs a punch, you know? I feel like my eyebrows do not look like they're related. They don't look like sisters. <laughs> So what I do is, um, I just mix this little concussion like this. I yeah, just apply it on my face. I got a new powder. It's the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. This one is definitely my color. And yeah, just gonna go in with that. I like to put. Um, powder on my eyebrows so that they look a bit more natural i don't know if you guys get that vibe the one thing i was not able to purchase is concealer i've been using the maybelline fit me concealer and in the shade i don't know in the shade 35 but wait it is finished 
um so i really need to get a concealer and the person i was sending just could not find my shade so it, it was really frustrating so i don't know what i'm gonna do so the blush like you want to target your high cheek yeah and then pull it up almost like you're contouring i also put blush on my nose on the tip of my nose put it like at the top of my head just so it's just you know kind of all rounded it's not just pop, sitting on your cheeks so let me show you guys the eyeliner that i'm using that is literally a hundred bulb it's a gel liner these are my favorite types of liner i got this at home for a hundred bulb and that's the thing about me i love luxury and nice things and what 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 but because it's my money i am spending and i'm working hard for it i'm not gonna spend a lot of money on eye pencil eyeliner that's just not me but i would rather spend a lot more money on skincare like that has a more like it's more effective you know but i'm not gonna splurge i'm not rich like that yet maybe when i'm rich i'll change my mind but as fun as of now like i would there are things i would not spend more than a thousand bob on and there are things that i will spend five thousand on one item so balance it's just balance until we make it you know what i'm saying like all these brushes i have this set of like 12 or 20 brushes i got them on sale i waited for it was called what november black november yeah so just be smart if you are an independent babe and you're you know trying to balance your life and your finances don't go broke on things like that do not most of my things are either gifted or i budgeted and saved up for them that's it it's either i budgeted and saved for a long long time like my phone <laughs> or i was gifted it's simple like this brush is really expensive i was gifted this one it's a foundation brush so it's just balance this life god will do the balancing for you don't worry So that's the final look um just wanted to show you guys um, yeah i love this little effect on the eyes it makes it makes your eyes look bright i don't know if you guys are, are seeing that that's the lip i went with my very very oops let me change the lighting yeah my very very cheap <laughs> lipstick I only splurge on red lipstick that's it anything else is a no and then I just paired it with my Davis um, my Davis eye pencil you, see, you guys have been seeing this trend the clean girl makeup look this is my version it's supposed to be aesthetically calm like nothing dramatic um, I wish I could do lashes but I can't put fake lashes I don't know how I struggle with that so the mascara is not too clean but essentially the clean girl makeup look looks something like this so if you're looking for um, a new you know some inspiration this is it <laughs> Good morning. I've been craving Gideri, so I'm gonna make.
make some today with that. Um, then I also have some cow peas and green beans. My hair is in a hot oil treatment. Yeah, it's just a chill Saturday. Just chilling. <laughs> wash section of my like relaxer wash day so I want to hop in the shower I normally start with my skincare and then I hop into the shower I don't know if I've ever told you guys that it's the rice water bright facial foaming cleanser I've washed another wig I've washed my own hair so I'm just styling this one so I can store it because I think from two weeks from now, I'm planning to be protective styling with wigs. So yeah. So I have been watching so many coffee videos on TikTok and I don't have a milk frother, sadly. So I decided to make my own little aesthetic coffee by shaking it in a bottle. And to be honest, I was not expecting this to turn out as good as it did so yeah just shake some warm milk in a bottle and you can froth it and as you can see it wasn't very thick of course but look at that look at this <laughs> it turned out really cute actually um, this is me just shocked checking inside the bottle and that's the final look i added some cinnamon on top just to make it you know a little spicy a little spicy a little some some guys i've been trying really hard to meal prep i had ordered for some groceries they've just come these are veggies zucchini and tomato and i don't know what else Smith meat potatoes i want to make I don't know what you guys call it. In Kimeru, we call it Ijeo. So you just put a little bit of like um, arrowroot or ndoma, some pumpkin, some potato, and some meat, and like other veggies. And it's really yummy. I'll show you guys once I make it. Also, guys, the worst thing happened last week. Um, as you can see, this little, I don't know what it's called, but it kept popping forward, and I just used to push it back in, and like life was good. And then one day last week, I just gave up. Like, what? What is this? But it's okay. I mean, it's life. We just need to get a new laptop. Like, <laughs> we move on. <laughs> also, Kenya is getting our new president today. We're just waiting for the announcement. So I'm kind of following up on that a little bit. As I wait on the results, I wanted to tell you guys something I noticed. I've been so calm of late. Like, I don't know if it's the self-love, like I've really been self-loving, I've been taking care of my hair, my skin, myself, you know, my spirituality, everything, I've just been really hands-on with myself, and it's finally paying, I'm finally seeing fruit, you know, I just wanted to encourage you guys, like, in, in case it's taking some time to see, you know, the result of all the hard work you put in yourself, just keep pushing, because for me, it happened really randomly, it's that day that my laptop screen cracked last week and normally i'm the type of person to like ruminate especially when there's a problem when everything is okay i'm a very happy jolly happy go lucky person but when something like when there's a problem to fix i ruminate on that problem until i fix it like we are not sleeping hmm? but the day my laptop cracked like i was just like oh okay this is unfortunate like what am i gonna do i continued working 
like my mood was the same nothing changed later on in the evening after i had processed it i was like okay let me call and see what options i have so the it guy was like oh you know it's gonna cost you so much to fix it almost half half the worth of the laptop why don't you just the laptop it's gonna the kind of laptop you want is like this much and i was like i didn't plan for this normally i would have like gone into my account gone broke just by like fixing things and ending up stressed boundary issues are not just seen with other people whatever you struggle to do with other people in terms of boundary setting and, and upholding boundaries you amplify it with yourself so for me i go the extra mile for people at my expense so with myself as well i go the extra mile fixing stuff because i'm like no one's going to help me let me just do it let me do it. you know and then you end up broke or your finances are organ disorganized i was like i'm not doing that um we are not doing that <laughs> i found a way to like you know fix my whole working system and life is going on i knew i was very changed when over the weekend i forgot my laptop had even cracked i only remember when i come to the office and i see it and I'm like, oh this thing this thing broke ah and i move on and sometimes i don't even notice yeah that's just to say there's been a lot of growth that i'm so proud of and even the way that I've just been taking care of my stuff, like I've not been procrastinating, I've been hitting my goals in terms of like work. I'm just happy and I feel broke. I feel it on the inside. And like even people around me are telling me. So I plan on making another video, a sit down video um, concerning making peace in life, like just making peace with things. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. For the new subscribers that have joined us, Welcome. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.